If you lift the lid of a computer, you will see a circuit board into which a number of little boxes have been plugged. Each box contains a chip, which consists of thousands of microscopic electric circuits, each of which can be either on or off. This is the only language that the computer understands. Is one of my circuits on or off? A sequence of several ons and offs in various combinations can represent any number or letter or graphic symbol. And we can symbolize these ons and offs by using a one to stand for on and a zero to stand for off. Most computers can represent any of the symbols on their keyboards by various combinations for a total of exactly eight ones and zeros. Since this language or code is based on two digits, one or zero, just as a bicycle is based on two wheels or a biplane is based on two pairs of wings, it is called the binary code from the Latin word binarius, meaning two together. And each of the ones and zeros is called a binary digit or bit for short. So it takes eight bits to represent any keyboard character. Such a group of eight bits is called a byte. One byte is the equivalent of one character. This computer can store or remember roughly 32,000 bytes. That means you can feed a program into it that uses up to 32,000 characters, letters, numbers, or graphic symbols. Just as a kilometer is a thousand meters and a kilogram is a thousand grams, so is a kilobyte roughly a thousand bytes. This computer, therefore, has a 32 kilobyte memory, or a 32K memory for short. But the memory of most small personal computers can be extended to at least double that, 64K. This may sound a lot, but it isn't. The average page of a book contains about 2,000 characters. It's a 2K page. So even a 64K computer can only store as many characters as a 32-page book. And a 32K computer only as many as a 16-page book. Although, of course, a computer can do a lot more with its characters than a book can. But that's another story.